elephant collected elephant poo poo. This is the amount of poo poo that one elephant poop in one day. So it is about 30, uh, 300 kilogram, which is like the 10% weight of their body. And this is the dry poo poo. So it is really light and uh -oh. it also has no smell. Oh my god, my poop. Okay, it also has no smell because this is already drying off. Yeah, the wet poo poo is really smelly. And don't forget that elephant are vegetarian. <laughs> we cannot only make like the paper not only from the elephant, we can also make paper from other poo poo too. For example, this is the horse poo. This one is horse poo and this is the elephant poo. You can see the difference in here. Like it is not only about the size. You can see it is like denser and thicker. For elephant, it is like they have a lot of favorite fiber left. Fiber left. So that it is like uh, the most ideal to make that paper from elephant from horse or there is also like half pool too you can see you can barely see the fiber in here actually you can make paper but still it is like harder to make paper because you can barely see their uh, fiber in here because cows have cows have like their four ah. stomach they can digest their uh food better than the elephant and you cannot only you can not only make their paper not only from the animal pool you can also make paper from their plants too of course for example like the coconut you can see there are a lot of fiber in coconut and you can also make the uh you know paper from their banana leaf too We cannot use their elephant poo directly. We have to do the pre-cleaning stage before we actually make them. We actually make it a paper. So we have to pour their, you know, this is like their elephant poo. We have to put them in their stage, pre-cleaning stage for a for a night, for a whole night. And after you put them in a whole night and after it it is totally clean, you have to use this one and you have to clean it for three times. One, two, and three. You have to specifically clean it like this for at least like a three times and then it is ready to clean again like this and this one they are they don't use their you know heat in here or oh, this one in here there is a fire you have to boil their elephant poo -poo for for at least three hours see so that there is no more stone and mats are left because when elephant uh, you know eat and digest it is not only about the fiber they also have other nutrition nutrient so you have to clean it like finally like this for at least three hours straight so after you clean it for like that mouth you will finally get their clean poop -poo. so this is where we will use that paper and about the water that we bought while about the elephant poo poo, they are used in there. Uh, they are used as the fertilizer for the plants because they are really nutrition and they have a lot of like good things for the plant. So they are used to water the plants and tree. So this is like the clean poo poo. Mm, so much fiber.
Now, in this stage, we are making their main material now. We are not only using their elephant proof to make that paper, we also use the mulberry fiber, you can see, to make paper. So, they have a lot of fiber in here. And after you mix it, you have to put that in that machine and then you can mix the color, what color, what color ever you like. And then you have to turn on that machine for two hours long. And after, after turning on the machine for two hours, you will get this stage. See? This one, the color, the other color of purple or pink. So, you can use it like this. This is the paper ball. So, the, the bigger the ball is, the pa bigger paper we got. So, and see. The color are not draining. It is not staining on my hand. So, because they are using the natural color to use the paper, and they are not only used about the elephant pool and the mulberry, mulberry, mulberry fiber, they also use the recycled, recycled paper like this. For example, like this. This one, the same color. So, the leftover, the leftover, paper they also use them you can also use them after sinking it for like a few minutes it is already tearing apart you can see it is going this paper is going to its original state so this is how we call the paper ball so You can also see the other color of paper ball, like this. This used to be a pile of poo like one day ago, and now it is ready to be a paper, like being the paper ball. Dwee. Let's move to the other, the next stage. So this is the stage where we finally do the paper. You have to break it into the two pieces first and then you have to separate them. Make sure you separate the paper eventually and don't make a knot like that. And you have to spread the water like this eventually to fill the hole. You have to fill out the water and drink. And after that, it is time to dry the paper. So this is the drying in this paper stage and you have to at least show and sing in the sun for at least 6 hours to completely dry. So after drying out for 6 hours, we already got a final look. I'm not, I'm not drying out for, I'm not waiting for the 6 hours. 
This is the one that I made. This is the one that they gave me. So we have to. We have this and pen. So that they won't stick with their with this thing for so much. And after that we have to see? We have to do it. And bye. Yay! We finally got our paper. So this is the final look of making the paper. We got the paper now and we can do anything that we want from this paper. Like there, any kind of souvenir or whatever we like. Thank you so much.